Chapter 3 Orpheus Enters the Underworld Orpheus takes his lyre and starts to play music. At first, Charon is bored. The music continues and he starts to listen. Soon, he's fascinated. Finally, he smiles from ear to ear. You smiled. Now you must keep your promise, says Orpheus. Please take me across the river. All right, answers Charon. Get in my boat. Then he takes Orpheus across the river. At the other side, Orpheus leaves the boat and enters the underworld. In the distance, he sees a castle. On his way there, he sees many strange creatures and cruel scenes. The underworld is a frightening place. Orpheus arrives at the castle and the doors open. He enters a circular room with two thrones. A man and a woman are sitting there. Their faces are white. Who are you? asks the man. I'm Orpheus, answers Orpheus. Who are you? I'm Hades, god of the underworld, and this is my wife, Persephone. You aren't dead. How did you arrive here? asks Hades. What do you want? I want my wife, Eurydice, answers Orpheus. She must leave this place with me. That's impossible, says Hades. Nobody leaves the underworld. This is the place for the dead. Please, your majesty, says Orpheus. I love her. I can't live without her. Love, says Hades coldly. What do you know about love, Orpheus? Let me tell you, says Orpheus, and he takes his lyre and starts to sing songs of love.